here is that Google trade. This is follow up too. We had the knee jerk reaction in video one to show the new MMTs what it would be like. Now we're printing right back down here on the bid of 769. Google beats by 89 cents. Reports revs in line. Reports Q1 March earnings up 11.58 per share. That's 89 cents better than capital IQ consensus. What a nice blowout number on the prelim. Was very nice. But look at where the stock is trading. That's called volatility. So, so far, we like that. Revenues rose 35% year to year to 11.01 .01 billion versus the 11.1 .1 billion. That was the consensus. Okay, Google no, Google revenues were 12.95 billion or 93% of consolidated revenues in the first quarter of 2013, representing a 22% increase over the first quarter of 2012. How about that? But look at the stock. Look at the after hours volatility. Google owned sites generated revenues of 8.64 billion dollars. How about that? That's a 67% of the total Google revenues in the first quarter of 2013. This represents an 18% increase. So isn't that nice, MMTs, uh, over Google partner sites? So you have Google partner sites that generated revenues of $3.26 billion. That's 25% of the global part of the uh, Google revenues. In the first quarter of 2013, this represents a 12% increase from the first quarter of 2012. How great. Google Network. So let's talk about Google Network revenues up 2.91 billion. Very nice. Other revenues from Google were 1.05 billion or 8% of the total gross revenues in the first quarter of 2013. So we're going to get more into about aggregated pay clicks later with our uh, MMTs. This is what is happening on that blowout number when the revenues are reporting in line MMTs. We will look at buying the dips on this name tomorrow. It's still the bull is the bull and what it's going to do is that everyone had price targets of 950 or a thousand dollars on Google. The thing about it is the lows were here today. That was the low. And we're all over the map. That is the earnings report. Google revenues totaled outside of the United States one seven point one billion, representing fifty five percent now of the total Google revenues in the first quarter two thousand thirteen. That's very strong compared to fifty four percent in the fourth quarter two thousand twelve. That was very important for me to let you know that that is a very good number for it. But everyone is probably wondering why is Google down? Well I'll tell you why. So that people like us can buy it a lot cheaper in that next bull cycle. One of the things that we will talk about later is that the aggregate paid clicks increased approximately 20% over the first quarter of 2012 and increased and increased approximately 3% over the fourth quarter of 2012. That's the aggregated uh, uh, paid clicks, average cost per click. Decreased, uh-oh, average cost per click decreased approximately 4% over the first quarter of 2012 and decreased approximately 4% over the fourth quarter of 2012. Revenue was 25% in the first quarter of 2013 compared to 25% in the first quarter of 2012. Operating revenues were $4.55 billion in the first quarter of 2013, or 33% of revenues, compared to $3.47 billion in the first quarter of 2012, or 33% of revenues. Motorola, Motorola mobile operating loss, gap operating loss for Motor Motorola, that's that acquisition that they did was 271 million or 27 percent of the Motorola mobile revenues in the first quarter of 2013. All eyes are going to be on that I can tell you. The cash flow and capital expenditures well they have a free cash flow of 2.43 billion. We expect to continue to make significant 
capital expenditures cash as of March 31 of 2013 cash cash equivalents and marketed securities were 50.1 billion for Google how about that but once again MMTs it's how to buy the dip sell the rips and not only that is to understand what those earnings mean and tomorrow we're going to be very aggressive on these options so this is the Google's premier earnings release we went over a lot of it we'll do a lot of other work so Google revenues were 12.95 billion or 93 percent of consolidated revenues 